The big news coming out of Kenya right now is that the AG Githumwe guy has resigned. Naturally, this has sent tongues wagging. Yeah, why did he resign? Iko nini? Yeah, Kenyans asking. Others have concluded these are very clear signs that all is not well within Jubilee, especially after the recent uh, legal actions, or sh shall I call them illegal actions, of the Jubilee government. You see, the Attorney General's uh, key mandate is to advise the government. So, what's really going on here? Now, let us start with the key question. Yeah, Why do people resign? Usually, People resign in a, in a half, especially advisors. Advisors normally resign in a half. That is, they do not agree with what is happening. Indeed, history shows us sometimes advisors are so pissed off that they not only resign, but they resign and then they go hang themselves. <laughs> yeah, true. Actually, being an, being an advisor is a very emotional job. It involves a lot of emotions. Yeah, because you can't keep on giving advice, giving advice, and it's ignored. It affects you emotionally. Of course, I'm very much aware of another tactic that uh, some smart leaders use. That is, they get advisors who are on opposite sides. Yeah, uh, the whole idea here is that when something happens, they can get uh, two extreme views straight away without even doing a survey. And then from those two extremes, they already know how people are going to uh, react. They make a decision. Yeah, a very informed decision based on uh, two very strong views, opposing views, of course. They could go either way or they just ignore the two views and make uh, a decision somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Now, of course, this will mean that if you're that kind of advisor, you'll have a lot of letdowns. A lot of times you'll be giving advice and it's ignored. Yeah, because your work really there is more to give a view than to actually give advice. But Gidhu Mugai's mandate did not fall in that criteria. Definitely not. Yeah, He was supposed to be the key advisor to government, which means most of the advice, legal advice he gives the government is taken. Yeah, Almost 100%. So imagine a situation where you're AG Gidhu Mugai and you're giving advice, you're giving advice, it's being accepted. Then all of a sudden, uh, most of your advice is ignored. That would hit you very hard yeah, and probably cause you to resign. That is one theory. The other theory is that he has resigned so that he can be appointed into another post. Okay? This is a very neat trick. Yeah? Instead of uh, asking somebody to resign, like in the case of uh, <laughs> the immediate former DPP, Bona Kiraiko Tobiko, yeah? he resigned and he was immediately appointed into the cabinet. So to avoid the controversies surrounding such a move, yeah, somebody just resigns and you give a statement and you say, uh, with regret, I accept the resignation of uh, Bonagidu Mwigai. And then when the water settle, uh, the man is reappointed somewhere else. So which is it? Did he resign in a half or is this just uh, acrobatics? Now in my view, I find it very difficult to believe that uh, A.G. Gidu Mwigai resigned in a half. I find it very, very, very difficult to believe that he resigned in principle. I mean, just look at the AG's record. He has always very consistently been, been uh, pro-establishment. He has supported the establishment to the hilt. Yeah? If he had been a different kind of AG, yeah, maybe a more independent-minded AG, then uh, I would have believed a story where he has resigned in a half. But not in the case of Gidu Mugai. Gidu Mwigai has been done in done in done in kabisa of the establishment. Now along with the resignation of Gidu Mwigai, the president in his full uh, statement about this resignation and the appointment uh, of the new AG made some other appointments. And I looked at those appointments very closely yeah, because sometimes uh, this could be a diversionary tactic. Yeah, you focus on the AG's resignation and then you ignore the other appointments, yeah, where <laughs> his appointments do kuna maneno, yeah. But in this case, maybe unless somebody helps me, I can't see anything yet. And so my apologies uh, if I'm blowing anybody's uh, bubble, <laughs> yeah, because I know Nasserites are extremely overjoyed. They're very happy at this news, yeah. Unaona, I may resign. 
Eh? He wanted to protect his reputation. I, what reputation? The AG has been very, very consistent. Look at his record. Yeah, pro-establishment to the hilt. Akuna Tasukumoja has diverted, not even a single day. Yeah, he has uh, shown any semblance of uh, independence. Any semblance of having a decision that is legally correct and uh, politically unpopular. Never ever. It has never happened. You know, surely you expect, eh, if you're giving something like legal advice, surely you expect at one point you'll give legal advice that will be very, very politically unpopular. Yeah, very politically incorrect. Yeah, but that would be the correct decision because you're operating, you're being guided by the law, by the constitution of Kenya. Now, the huge mystery for me is, you know, I've really looked, I've tried to look at archives, uh, past stories, etc., etc. I've tried to Google. I have not found a single decision, yeah, which A.G. Gidhu Mwege has made since his appointment in 2011, yeah, under the Grand Coalition government, yeah, when Kibaki was president, have not found a single decision, yeah, or statement he has made that is uh, against the establishment, against the president of the day. I have not found one, which is strange because really, <laughs> with the kind of job he's doing, yeah, and knowing Kenya the way it is, surely, surely, twice or three eyes, yeah, if he was really genuine, he would have uh, come out with a statement or a decision, yeah, or advice that would have been, uh, would have caused uh, some political jitters. It never happened. So why should anybody believe that he has resigned in protest? And even a bigger question yeah, for you to consider, why would anybody believe that the current Jubilee government, the way we know it, the current Jubilee presidency, would accept a resignation in protest? Eh? I don't believe they can ever accept a resignation in protest. Uh -uh. This Jubilee government and presidency is all about saving face. So whatever happens, they go to great lengths to save face. Most recent example, instead of uh, swallowing humble pie and delivering uh, Miguna Miguna to the High Court as instructed by the judiciary, they don't want to look weak uh, next to the judiciary. So better ignore court orders completely and then do some acrobatics and deport your own citizen. That way you save face. Yo mambo ingine tutangalia badai. All the other fallout, all the other backlash we'll deal with later. Yeah, as long as we don't ever, ever lose face. So whatever happens in the government, who told you anybody is allowed to resign? Who? And so my humble verdict, and I could be wrong, I don't always have to be right, but my humble verdict, based on what I have before me, based on from where I sit, based on my experience and from what I know, my humble verdict is that this resignation it is deep and maybe one day we'll get the answer but for now what i'm very sure of nobody resigned in a half yeah until next time this is chris kumekucha